what is going on guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to make a teleport uh gui button a teleport button that will teleport your player to a given location or just teleport them wherever you want so let's get right into it guys so let's start making the button you got to go to the folder in the uh in the game right here uh, in the explorer if you don't have the explorer, go to view at the top of the screen here and click explore and you also, you're also going to need properties. So let's get right into it now. So you insert uh, screen GUI into start a GUI. Start a GUI basically just um, holds up all the, the, the user interfaces in your game. Everything that like buttons, of um, shops, stuff like that. That's where you want to put it right in start a GUI. All right, so we can name this um, screen GUI. Uh, let's see, teleport um, GUI. All right, now we can enter a text button. I'm gonna drag this down here. Yeah, drag it down with my mouse. Make sure it's selected. Let me drag this down. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna name it um, teleport. I'm gonna go into the properties panel. And I'm gonna do text scale so it'll make the text bigger and fit inside of the frame. Or yes, yeah, so fit inside of the text button. So I'm a, you can design it more if you want, but that does not matter for this video. I'm just doing a quick a tutorial on how to do it. But you can customize it any way you want. You can make the change the color and all that kind of cool stuff. I'm just gonna leave it as like this for now. I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name the text button teleport B. Teleport B. That means teleport button. So now we got our button. Now we gotta choose where we wanna um, teleport to. So here's what you gotta do: insert a part to the workspace. Um, so it's right here. I'll make this quite big. I'm gonna size it up. I'm gonna go to the size property. I'm gonna go. I'm um, click the arrow. On the, next to it, and I'm gonna for the X. I'm just gonna say um 35, and for and for the Z, I'm gonna say 35 as well. So it's nice and um, big, and this is where I want to teleport to. So let's move that wherever wherever you want. So just the player spawns at the origin right here. So if I click this, it'll teleport me over there. And if you can do this for any game, real like that, you if you want to teleport. You click on this and it will teleport you, you to that given point. So I'm going to name this uh, um, teleport part so we know when we stop. You can name it anything, but I think you should name it that because that's what I'm going to be referencing in the script. So inside the text button, we're going to enter a local script. Local script works on the player, the client. So the client meaning... um the player's computer but yeah here we go so um we're gonna start by the, making a variable local teleport equals game dot workspace dot teleport the part right here in the workspace and all right drop a couple lines i'm gonna say um local button equals script dot parent so we know a button we're working in, which is the one right here. So scripts parent. I'm gonna say button dot mouse button one click, which is an event that runs on it. So when the button is clicked with the left mouse button and um, it clicks on it, we can insert a function so it will start, it will run. And uh, let's drop a line. Make sure you have this end right here with a parenthesis and two parentheses at at the end of the the other this line. So now we gotta say, um, um, let's see, uh, local. So now we gotta set the positioning. So what, I think we're we're gonna use a C frame for this, uh, or, um, yeah, let's try. So, um, let's see, teleport part. Teleport.cframe equals cframe 
or equals um yeah C frame um oh hold on let's um define the player at the top of the script local player equals game dot players dot local oh, no. players dot local player so now we got the player that's the player right there so um we can say uh Oh, we don't that we don't want to do that. Teleport that C frame. No, that's not what we want to do anyway. So player dot character. So that's the model in the player. The character dot humanoid root part dot um C frame equals C frame dot new. Um how we port tell we part dot position tell we part dot position tell we part dot position so we'll just set the position of it for the x y and z axes so let's try playing the game and we'll see if this works I feel like it should work I'm gonna put quiet play here all right Give it a minute to load in, okay. Now I'm gonna click on this button and I should be teleported over there where the teleport part is. I'm gonna click on it and ooh, we got a mistake. I don't know what happened. I'm at I I mean I'm in the ground right now. That's pretty weird. So it did not go the way we wanted it to do uh, go. Let me just open the output to make sure that if there's any errors. Which, um, there probably is not any errors, because it's definitely a positional error. Um, I'm gonna go back into the script. So let me just look this over. So the character, the human on root part, that's the, up. Uh, that's like the main part in the torso area. It's just a part that all NPC, uh, all characters have in Roblox. Human on root part dot c frame so with the coordinate frame the position really equals c frame dot new teleport the position um let me just try dot x just want to see if this works y and z if this doesn't work i think i have another idea in mind so that would just Let's see if this works. I'm kind of curious to see if that works. All right, we're loaded in. I'm gonna click the the button, and there we go. It kind of worked, except um, I gotta anchor the part. I think that's why it did that. I just fell down. I wanna. I don't wanna fall down. So. See from that new tally, yep. And um, can I uh, do plus vector three dot new? I think I can do that. So, and I'm just gonna say zero three zero. Let's see if that works. Just make sure teleport. Boom. Awesome. Works awesomely. Works amazing. That's awesome. Look at that. That's, that's awesome. That's um, that's really nice. I'm going to explain what I did to get this to work. And yeah. I don't even think we're going to need this Vector 3 bit at the end here. Not at all. I don't. We don't need that. It should still work. That's just to give the, the character some height when it spawns on it. We might need that. Well, I'm just going to try it right now. Yeah, I think, yeah, we definitely need that. So we're, so we're not spawning into the part right here. So, definitely add that little bit right here. So, let me explain the, the, what all of this does. So, top of the script here, we got three variables. Teleport part, which is the part right here that we named teleport part. And we're just setting it to the game that works for us. That teleport part, that's what we named it. 
No, the button equals shift apparent. That's the button. So we're so we know that the this is the button that we defined. So strip the parent. That's the button. Um, player equals game that player is that local player. So that's the player that clicks the button, or the player so that we're gonna that we're uh, programming to follow to to go to the position, which is over here. And we see button that mouse button will quick connect function. And um, yes, but mouse button will quick is an event that fires when a player clicks on this. Um, teleport button and yes that works for all buttons in in Roblox mouse button one click it's very useful connect function so now we're tying it to a function player that character so player that character is the character player's character the humanoid root part I got, I got I'll show you what the humanoid root part is if you don't know that C frame which is the it C frame is equals C frame that nail C frame is just uh, position and rotation. So, in this case, we're positioning. So we wanted to position the the the, the humanoid root part, which is a a, a a main part. Here, I'll show you it right now. Because you're probably very confused. When we you might you could be very confused, or you might know what it is, already, which is great. But I'm gonna show you guys what it is right now. So, game up. So this is the player. Um, in the players, this is my player. Um, right here, and in the properties, there's a character. Um, right here, and that property is set to gut pack. That's um, oh, hold on, yeah, it's set to my my name. It's it's set to the the character in the workspace, which is this. So that's what it's set to. So we just say, um, player the character, which is this model. Um, dot humanoid root part. So yeah, um, player dot character dot humanoid root part. This part right here, it's uh, it's like a, the to it's um it's invisible, but it's uh, it's around the torso area. Let me show you what it looks like. It's just like a little block. Let me, let me set. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It's just a block. It's every character in Roblox has it. It's essential, and you can do cool and you can um do cool things. With it to uh, to your and to um, it's and um yeah that you should honestly if you're gonna teleport the player you should probably do it with the humanoid root part it's just a part uh, but yeah it's a it's a main part of the char character without it it would not work really it would uh have it would not work your character would fall apart so a humanoid root part dots C frame which is the position of it. Watch what happens when I delete it. My character will just fall. Nothing will really work. Damn. So yes. Dot C frame. Dot C frame. So we're getting the position of humanoid root part. Equals C frame dot new. We're creating a new position. In this case, we're doing teleport. We're creating a new C frame, which is position and rotation. But yeah, we're gonna do teleport dot position dot X. So we're setting the X position. We want the character, the, the character to, to spawn or or go to teleport. Dot position dot x. That's the x value and teleport dot position dot y and teleport to position dot z. So that's just um. If I click on this, I'll show you. So here's the teleport part, properties and uh, the position is a vector three. So x y and z. That's where we want it to go. So yeah. I want it to go to these values. That's where the part is. So yes. Um, yeah, and we're just what we're doing here. Basically, we're just setting these numbers into here, so that it knows where to go. And when we say plus at the end of it, plus vector three that new, it's just um, vector three is just size and position. So that's what vector three is because you see how there's three values right here. That's what a vector three is. There's three values for position and for size. There's three values too. So vector three. Then we're creating a new um, vector. Vector. Uh, in this case, we're. I'm just. Um, this three really just means that I'm. I'm elevating the player, like or the to uh, load when it teleports. It's gonna load above it through um, three studs, so it won't collide, and, and, and it won't get stuck inside. 
Um, I yeah, I think three is the, the right number for this. So it just um, because the three is on the y axis, so it's gonna spawn them uh, three studs above. So there's no problems. And I hope you guys can understand that. I really hope you guys can understand this. And if you don't, please talk to me in the comments below. I'll read all your comments. And I'll try to g give the best um, responses possible to try to help you out. So, um, I think I covered everything. So, yeah. Except, if you want, if you don't, if you don't want this part to show, by the way. If you, if you want this part to be invisible, then just say, transparency is the property. So, click on this. And go to the transparency and set it to one, which is completely transparent. So that's if you don't want to see it. And and we can also make it can collide false. So go to um, the part. Quick, um, go to you can type in uh, can can, and you'll see this property um, in the part. And the can collide just means you can collide with it. But if it's off if you turn that the check mark off just click on it and there's no check in the box that means it's false that means you can collide with it you can go through it and stuff and you're not colliding with it so let's now play the game and also it's very important that if you if you want if you don't want this to move you you probably should anchor it so it doesn't move right, i'm gonna play it Um, alright, I'm going to click on the button, and I spawn on it, awesome, so I'm walking over here, and an average, a normal player would not know that there's a part right here, because I made a can't go I false, and I turned off the transparency, I set it to 1, so it's invisible, so that's how it works, guys, tell me if this helped you guys in the comments below, I really appreciate all you guys who are watching, I really do. And hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you enjoyed it, and subscribe because there's going to be a lot more helpful videos on my channel coming in the future. So I can't wait for that. Um, thank you guys for watching this one. I hope this helped you out with your game or whatever you need it for. I hope this really helped you out. So drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.